All right, here we go. Question number one from our 1316 homework number five in my lab math. The instructions say use a sum or difference formula to find the exact value of the trigonometric function. So our function is tangent. What we want to do is bring up our formula chart. And notice that we do have two formulas for tangent in the sum or difference category here. Sum or difference formulas, we've got tangent of alpha plus beta, tangent of alpha minus beta. So since we have a multiple choice problem, we're going to need to figure out which of these two formulas apply, whether it's add or subtract here. So all of the fractions involve 120 degrees and 45 degrees. What we need to figure out, does 120 plus 45 make the angle that's given, or is 120 minus 45 equal to 165? And that's pretty obvious that that's going to be addition. 120 plus 45 is 165. So that means that we're focusing in on this formula. And then all we have to do is figure out which one of these is set up correctly. OK, so notice in the formula, the numerator has tangent of alpha plus tangent of beta. So the alpha and the beta, those are the two numbers that have to add to make, in this case, 165. And it looks like answer choice A has the fraction set up correctly. Here we have tangent of alpha plus tangent of beta. 1 minus tangent of alpha times tangent of beta. And that's going to be answer choice A. Okay, great. So that now that we've figured out which answer choice is correct, now they actually want me to work that out. So then if I go to my scratch work here, we're going to say tangent of 120 plus tangent of 45 all over, and as you can see, I'm just copying down the answer choice that we chose. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the unit circle then to evaluate this, okay? So here, this is my alpha, and this is my beta. And so I'm going to need to figure out the tangent of 120 and the tangent of 45. Once I get those two values, they're going to repeat down here in the denominator. OK, so let's go to 120 degrees, which is this ordered pair. And we know that tangent of 120, remember tangent is y over x which is the same as the reciprocal of x times y is going to be negative 2 over 1 times square root of 3 over 2. And those 2s will cancel and give me negative square root of 3, OK? So now what I have is I have the value that I'm going to substitute for both of these tangent of 120s. And then the next thing to do is figure out the tangent of 45. OK, so again, the tangent of 45 tangent is y over x, which again is the reciprocal of x times y. And at 45 degrees, our coordinates are identical. So if I flip the x, that's going to give me 2 over square root of 2 times y square root of 2 over 2. Those are both going to cancel and be 1, OK? So now I have the value for tangent of 45 that's going to replace both of these guys, OK? And so now I've got all the information I need to actually evaluate this, OK? So here we go. We've got tangent of 120, which is negative square root of 3, plus tangent of 45, which is 1. You follow me? There's my tangent of 120 
plus my tangent of 45. Okay, there's the numerator done. In the denominator, I'm going to have 1 minus negative square root of 3 times 1. And then I just need to evaluate this, okay? So that's going to be negative square root of 3 plus 1 over, if I do the multiplication first, that's going to be negative square root of 3. But then a negative times a negative makes that a positive. And so I get here, okay? Now, I probably need to rationalize this. Since I have a square root in the denominator, that's probably going to need to be rationalized. Oh, and let's flip these guys around so that it says 1 minus square root of 3, okay? Over 1 plus square root of 3. Yeah, type an exact answer. Use radicals as needed. Simplify your answer. I'm going to say that this is not really simplified completely since we have a radical in the denominator. And so let's look at how do you rationalize that. Well, when the denominator is a binomial, you're going to have to multiply by the conjugate, which is going to be 1 minus square root of 3. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. And then we're going to be using the four-letter F word twice. We're going to have to foil both of these. Mm -mm -mm. Man, what fun. What fun. Here we go. Numerator, foil. 1 times 1 is 1. On the outside, that is negative square root of 3. On the inside, another negative square root of 3. Last but not least, we have a negative times a negative, which is a positive. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9, which is 3. Okay? In the denominator, here we go. Let's F it up again. Curses, foiled again. First, 1 times 1 is 1, okay? On the outside, negative square root of 3. On the inside, we have a positive square root of 3. And last but not least, we have a negative times a positive, which is negative. Square root of th 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9, which is 3. And now let's simplify. In the denominator, the square root of 3's are going to cancel, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. That's our denominator simplified. And notice we did get rid of the square root in the denominator, so we rationalize correctly. In the numerator, I've got 1 plus 3, which is 4. And I've got a couple of like terms here. A negative 1 and a negative 1 is a negative 2, square root of 3. And then this will reduce even further, because if I divide both of these by negative 2, let's see, 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2, and a negative over a negative makes that a positive square root of 3. Okay, so that should be the answer in simplest radical form with the denominator rationalized. And before I input that into my lab math, I would like to use the calculator to check that, okay? So if you have the Casio class whiz, you're going to find out that this is a fantastic model here. I've got my calculator in degree mode, and we're simply going to type in tangent of 165. Notice I'm just I'm typing in the original problem that they wanted me to calculate in degree mode. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Fantastic. Now let's see if my lab math likes it. Negative 2 plus square root of 3 works out to be correct. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.